After Mexico triumphed over Germany, the defending World Cup champions, the entire nation literally jumped for joy. The celebrations triggered a small earthquake in Mexico City that experts said was likely due to this mass jumping. But don't let those cheers deceive you. If you're looking for troubling news, the 2018 World Cup runneth over. In Moscow, where Vladimir Putin is hosting, the shadow of international tensions looms large. Welcome to Russia. Talking to the Cup's corrupt governing body, FIFA, Putin said he hopes that the international community can learn that Russians want to live in peace, emphasizing the principle that sports and politics do not mix. But in the wake of Russia's election interference in the U.S. and global conflict over their interference in Syria, there's no way to leave politics at the arena door. And while Russia was beating Saudi Arabia in the opening game, Saudi-led fighters were attacking Houthi rebels in Yemen, exacerbating the humanitarian crisis there, threatening the lives of millions. Russia won five to nothing, or nil, I guess, with a Saudi crown prince just a seat away from Putin. So much for keeping politics out of the game. An endeavor that hasn't been working out very well back here in the U.S. either for the other game of football. Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners, when somebody disrespects our flag, to say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now, out, he's fired. He's fired! You know, as hard as Trump pushes back against the NFL players who protest racial injustice, their activism continues, even after the league clamped down on kneeling during the national anthem. This week, Patriot Devin McCourty said here that the players reject the narrative that their protests are unpatriotic. We've talked about the uh, social and racial uh, equality. We talked about criminal justice reform. There's nothing wrong with guys that are out there fighting for it. It's real issues. In fact, I think there's something right. As much as we all might like to, there's just no escaping into sports anymore. And maybe that's a good thing.